Today we're going to take a look at a new build on Windows 11. This is for version 24H2 and the build number is 26241. Microsoft just released this to all the Insider Program members who are in the Canary channel. I believe it was dropped on June 21st, 2024, so it's only been out for a couple of days. So in this video we're going to take a look at any new features, any bugs, any known issues, and any fixes. Stick around, should be a good one. Okay, starting off in the File Explorer, a couple of cool changes in my opinion. The first one regarding breadcrumbs. If you're not familiar with that term, uh, breadcrumbs are from the childhood story of Hansel and Gretel. I'm just kidding. I just dated myself. I'm really old, I know. <laughs> Is that still a, a book or whatever? I don't know. Anyways, guys, back to the actual video here. Breadcrumbs are the trail in your address bar when you're in File Explorer. So these would be breadcrumbs leading you to this folder. A uh, pretty cool change in my opinion is the ability to take a file and drop it into one of the breadcrumbs so I can move it directly here into pictures. I like that. What do you guys think about it? Um, also, what do you think about this picture? It's not done. And yes, this was AI generated, but I'm working on a custom Windows PE environment that I'll probably include in one of my upcoming USBs in my store. If you guys haven't seen my shop, by the way, check it out, bootableusbs.com. I have all kinds of cool techie custom USB drives. I think you guys will really like it. Uh, feel free to check it out. I'll link that here. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking about modifying this further and maybe doing some other stuff with it. But these could be like different. Um, this could be like cybersecurity hacking. This could be like password resets. I don't know. But I was thinking of putting different things up here and we've just got all this technology on tap. Anyway, I don't know. My mind kind of runs with things. All right, back to the video. Another cool um, addition. Let me see if I can find something with a few files here. Yeah, my downloads. Another cool addition or feature in the Windows Explorer, File Explorer, if you will, is the uh, added thin border. So this just makes it easier, and I think it's aesthetically pleasing as well, at least in my opinion, to see which files you have highlighted. That little thin border they put around the selected file. I really like it. What do you guys think about that? All right, sticking with the File Explorer here for a second, some users in the Insider program were reporting when they would navigate back to the home or to the home uh, destination itself, that would crash File Explorer. Apparently, Microsoft has uh, addressed that and fixed that bug. So if you were experiencing that, hopefully that's been addressed and fixed for you. But if not, let me know. Uh, by the way, if you guys are in the Insider program, try to give some feedback when you do have issues. Um, I've done it once or twice. I should probably do it more often. I discovered an issue with Copilot that I didn't, you know, I Googled, looked in forums. I didn't see it out there, so I did report it back. But that's why uh, Microsoft does this with the insider flights. So yeah, if you guys see new bugs, heck, let me know so I can have my content on it. <laughs> Kidding. But yeah, if you'd like to do that and you don't want to give feedback, sure, go for it. But yeah, give some feedback. Uh, there's multiple ways to give feedback in the Insider program. And if you need more information on how to do that, just let me know. But yeah, they they address the uh, File Explorer crashing when you go back to the home destination. So that's great. Uh, next up is the taskbar. They actually updated the app icon flashing in the taskbar to be a little bit easier to see. So if you had like a notification down in the taskbar, they've made that a little bit easier or more aesthetic so that it uh, catches your eye a little better. So two thumbs up for that. Okay, moving over to notifications, small change here. So Microsoft has updated the underlying logic for when they suggest turning off notifications for specific applications so that it requires a little bit longer period of time without engaging with notifications from that app in order to trigger. So hopefully if you have a real noisy notification section, this change in their logic will help you out. Uh, yet to determine that, uh, this is obviously an insider build, so I don't have a ton of notifications. But if I'm interpreting that correctly, that's a thumbs up for me. They're moving in the right direction. I hate a noisy notification area. Uh, another thing that they noted here was they fixed an issue. If you open settings within the Windows sandbox, it would show a check for Windows update, uh, even though the Windows update page didn't show. So I'm not familiar with that particular issue, but that's a note here. And then... This is redundant. I, I think I mentioned this on every single build, but if this is the first one you guys have seen as far as the new builds I cover for the Insider program, there are still uh, ongoing investigations as far as reports that some Windows Insiders and the Canary and Dev channels are stuck on builds 26040, 
and or build 23620. Uh, some people just can't get off it. It won't allow them to update, but there are ways around that. I'm going to link you guys the uh, 11forum.com URL that I am getting some of this information from. And on that page, they have a download link for the latest ISO where you can go straight to this new build if you are stuck on the uh, older builds that I just mentioned and can't get off, or you just want to do a clean install of the latest Insider build. And uh, to note on the task manager, I covered this in the last build as well. This is still an ongoing issue when you are in dark mode and you go to performance. It looks very ugly. So this is like the, uh, what is that called? A, a Ruxar test? I just butchered that, I know. But where they show you those pictures and they look like ink blobs. Um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful here, don't you guys think? No, but seriously, this is an ongoing issue. Not sure why they haven't fixed it yet. doesn't seem like this would take a whole lot of code to address, but this is extremely ugly. And then I'll just say um, that for me, they're supposed to have a new feature where they show the DDR speed, and it's supposed to be in mega transfers per second as opposed to, as opposed to um, megahertz. And I don't see any DDR speed. Again, I'll bring up my 23H2 host computer here on which I am running the VM on top of. And I will show you that I do have my RAM speed here. So DDR speed is 4,800 megahertz. And I don't have any speed here. So they still haven't addressed that. Um, I'm going to report that or I'm going to search it and see if anyone else has reported that. If not, I'll report it because this is a bug in my opinion. There's no speed at all, and they advertise the change in the way that they are um, measuring that speed or performance. So yeah, there's a bug, and they didn't list it. All right, guys, that's going to about wrap it up for this video. Again, this was build number 26241, and we're talking about Windows 11 24H2. Check the link in the description. I'm going to give you the 11forum.com link where you can uh, read up on some additional information, some details, but also if you scroll down, you'll have several links to download this latest ISO, whether that's from their link they provide here or the UUP dump links where you can get a 64-bit or an ARM 64 ISO download of this latest version. Uh, thanks again, guys. And again, if you don't want to miss any content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button. That way you're aware of all the content when it comes out. And if you really want to support the channel even more, guys, check out my shop, bootableusbs.com. I have all kinds of custom stuff. If you're into tech, I think you'd be interested. Just check it out. I think you'll like it. All right, guys, have a great day. Until the next video, take care.